Bills where a pursuit is happening right now. Bill Thomas is live in Air 7 HD over the scene. Bill. Ooh. This is a wicked pursuit. These speeds are phenomenal on these very small surface streets in downtown LA. This guy just made so many twists and turns in the past 10 or 15 seconds. I lost what street he's on, but essentially he's just north and west of the Staples Complex near downtown LA. I can't tell exactly what kind of car it is, but LAPD officers are telling us this is reported as a stolen vehicle. So it's a Grand Theft Auto suspect. Looks like a small Honda Civic now at incredible speeds on these very small and narrow surface streets. Trying to get around all these buildings to give you the best shot of that car. Now we're on westbound on 11th Street driving on the wrong side of the street. Those little Honda Civics, they come with small engines, four-cylinder uh, four engines, and I believe they're about a 1.6 or a 1.8 liter engine, but they've got a lot of low-end torque, which really works out well for that suspect here on these small surface streets off the line. He can hit it, and they can hit top speeds very rapidly. Running a stop sign off of 11th now, making that northbound turn, and these are very narrow surface streets. This time of the afternoon, coming up on 5 o'clock, a lot of folks are coming home from work, school, after-school programs, letting out folks, uh, youngsters, working around these small surface streets trying to get back home and there made another illegal left turn almost plowed into a number of people here this is olympic now westbound on olympics trying to get around that traffic so he just pulled into a pumping station into a fuel station around all that traffic uh, cutting off other traffic there running stop signs red lights and right back onto olympic this is westbound on olympic which is better than those other smaller narrow surface streets olympic as you can see here has three westbound lanes so he's got a little bit of breathing room but this is the afternoon rush hour right now so as you can imagine there is a lot of congestion here he He's approaching Hooper. He was trying to use yeah. the center divider, oh. but uh, nearly got caught off by somebody right there. In and out of the fast lane on the wrong side of the street. Again, coming up on Hoover, westbound Olympic, and uh, almost oh, just narrowly missed somebody right there. He's just passing Hoover now, westbound on Olympic. And once again, LAPD officers telling us this is a Grand Theft Auto suspect. This is reported as a stolen vehicle, a Honda Civic. But as you can see, this thing can get real good speeds in a very short period of time. Extremely dangerous driving on the wrong side of the road, running red lights, running uh, stop signs. As we continue westbound on Olympic, I believe we're coming up on Vermont right now, and we're averaging speeds here of about 50, maybe 60 miles per hour. Look at all these pedestrians right in the middle of that oh, crosswalk, oh no. just narrowly getting missed by that suspect. And police officers, open up the shot for you just a bit. You might think he's alone, but he's southbound on Vermont with a number of LAPD officers right behind him. They're waiting for that right moment to implement that pit maneuver. First off, they have to get approval from the supervisor. Second, they've got to do it in an area where they're not going to risk harming anybody, any pedestrians in the area, other foot traffic, other uh, any other traffic in the area. Southbound of Vermont now, we'll get around that building. And we're coming up on Pico now, so we're not too far from Koreatown, and we're just a little west of downtown L.A. Ooh. Once again, he's on the wrong side of the street. LAPD officers now telling us this was a pursuit. They had the lights on the siren on, but now they're going into what they call tracking mode. This guy is driving so erratically. He's such a danger to everyone around downtown L.A. and west of downtown L.A. They're going to back off a little bit right now. You just saw that helicopter fly through the shot, that gray helicopter. That's actually an LAPD helicopter. We're at about 40, uh, 40, 45 miles per hour right now, coming up on a red light. He's going to run right through it, narrowly missing some cars and pedestrians right there. Uh, once again, LAPD officers backing off just a bit. It's a little too erratic, so they're going to go into tracking mode right now. They're still in the area. They still know where he's going. And even if that suspect can no longer see those LAPD cruisers in his rearview mirror, even if he can't hear the sirens or see the lights, they are still very nearby. There are a number of LAPD officers just swarming this entire area. And there's also that LAPD helicopter on top. So they're going to watch his every move. Now he's making a right turn. Uh, he's going to go westbound. We'll get that street for you in just a couple of seconds. They're going to call that out for us. And once again, that is reported as a Grand Theft Auto suspect, according to LAPD officers and a small Honda Civic. Uh, westbound. Now, this is going to be Washington Boulevard westbound from Vermont. And fortunately, Washington Boulevard, as you can see, a little three lanes, LAPD traffic going right under us. Three lanes here westbound. And even though they are tracking mode now, they're staying right on top of this guy, following his every move, making a left turn, unfortunately, onto a smaller and more narrow surface street. There's only two lanes right here. He's actually using both of them just with reckless abandon, driving at incredible speeds on these very narrow streets. And at one point, looks like he's slowing down right now. He might try to slow down, pull over to the shoulder, and then maybe just try to get out and make a run for it. But look at that. LAPD officer is a matter of 15, maybe 20 feet away. They're preparing now. This is going to be Cordello, I believe is the name of that street. And looks like he might might be coming to a stop. Now, this is a Grand Theft Auto suspect, and number. according to LAPD officers, there are a number of people in that car. That means the suspect, and there could be additional suspects, that could be hostages. We just really don't know right now, and that's why LAPD, they're keeping their uh, little bit of a distance here. This is Cordova, uh, a little west of downtown LA, and just a little north oh, of the Santa Monica out. Freeway. Now the oh. driver out making a run for it, other people in the car. We're gonna stay with the driver. LAPD officers are gonna stay behind with the other people in that car. They'll have those people wrapped up in no time at all. I don't think they got out. 
but this guy's running and he's running at a good clip. Tall guy, blue jeans, black shirt, black cap. If you live in this neighborhood, stay indoors now. He's coming up on Vermont with a number of LAPD officers in their cars and on foot. They're right behind this guy. Let's open up and show you these LAPD officers. They're very, very close. This guy is running so rapidly. There they are right behind uh -oh. him. They open. Mm -hmm. Here he comes. Now he's going into a door, going into a business, but LAPD officers right behind him, and they're gonna go right into that business, whatever it is, to try to get this guy out of there before he takes somebody hostage or there's any harm to anybody inside. So we're gonna open up a little wide now. We've got the rear entrance here. There could be some other entrances and exits to that building. We're gonna come around and try to get every corner possible until we see LAPD officers come out with that suspect. So once again, that came to a stop. That was a LAPD pursuit over on Cordova, I believe that was a small surface street just west of downtown LA. Uh, Grand Theft Auto suspect and a number of other people in that Honda Civic. We saw when the car came to a stop, driver got out, made a run for it, ran into this company. We're not sure what this is, but it is surrounded by LAPD officers on all sides. LAPD PD officers inside as well. And we're going to keep it a little bit wide here to see if anybody comes out on any of those entrances or exits. And the car that stopped just a couple of blocks away, those people will be apprehended by LAPD officers. Now, the suspect, we understand, has been taken into handcuffs. He's inside of that uh, store right now. He'll be coming out in a matter of moments. Once they get the handcuffs on him, we'll see him come out. And hopefully this thing will be all wrapped up in what uh, LAPD officers refer to as Code 4. And then we'll have a little bit of time to backtrack over to Cordova and see how many people were in that other car and what their role in this pursuit was, but this was a Grand Theft Auto suspect according to LAPD officers, and we'll leave that suspect who ran into this building is in handcuffs and has been taken into custody. So we'll come around to the front side now. They're going to throw it back to you in the studio as we wait for that suspect in handcuffs to come out with LAPD officers. Hey Bill, are you in uh, any range at all to see the, the car from your vantage point and see who else is in that car? I'm just curious if that was a car jacking or if well, perhaps... Well, we're going to stay right here right now. We're about a half okay. mile away from the car. We're very close to West Adams High School. I don't believe the high school is threatened right now. It looks like classes have all uh, gone for the day. I don't even see any after school activity on the campus, but uh, very close to West Adams High, just north of the Santa Monica Freeway. You can see LAPD officers in front of this building. It looks like they're standing down. You can tell by their posture uh, this yeah. thing has been yeah. wrapped up and the suspect in the store is in custody. And once we see that suspect come out of this business, then we'll have a chance to backtrack, as I said, David, and we'll check out the car and uh, check out Cordova where that vehicle came to a stop. So we're going to hold this shot okay. here. And there we'll he is. Wait, is. All right. With LAPD officers and and there he is. That's the guy we were watching. Uh, we mentioned him moments ago when he was running away. The blue jeans, the black cap, the black shirt. But clearly, even though he ran into that company, we'll try to find the name for it. He uh, has been brought out in handcuffs by LAPD officers. And in just a couple of moments, we'll go back to the car and see if anyone else has been taken into custody. All right. Go ahead. Thank you very much, Bill. We're going to check back with you uh, as they wrap this up. Uh, we'll get an update from you in just a few seconds. In the meantime.